All right, let's get this up a little bit more. And there we go. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. It is really, really early in the morning and we are doing a special live stream. A special live stream that is actually intended more for the vlogging channel than for the main channel, but eh, what the heck. We'll just do it here anyway. So, today is a big day if you are a fan of streaming, the streaming wars, and hey, since a lot of us are heading back into lockdown, especially in California and maybe Florida, who knows? Well, here's the thing. Peacock, NBC's answer to, uh, hey, Sovereign Renaissance, uh, NBC Comcast or NBC Universal, you know, it's hard to fi figure out who's buying who these days. They have launched their streaming service today, so we're going to do just a very quick, very rudimentary first impression of the Peacock streaming service. Now, for the record, I have the... There are three tiers with Peacock. There's a free version and a $5 a month version where you get to watch more stuff, and then there's a higher version where almost everything is ad-free with a few exceptions. So, I've got the third tier, and that will give us a pretty good idea of what you can expect if you've got the third tier. So, let's first open this. It's interesting, it's called Peacock, but you don't actually have the NBC Peacock in there. So, all right. So, first impression, uh, well, I see they've got Peacock Originals highlighted. Psych 2, Lassie Comes Home. Is that a show or is that a movie? That, uh, that looks like a movie, so... Oh, great. I can already tell you I'm gonna hate... Hey, hopefully we can turn... Hopefully we can turn that those off. I I hate those. I've discontinued them on the Netflix thing. We've got Shrek. Uh, let's see if we can't. So there's a there's some recommendations. Oh well, this this looks nice. A uh, they've actually got shorts on here. That's super nice. We have Saved by the Bell, Wedding in Las Vegas. That must have been like a TV movie or something to have, to that effect. I don't know why anyone who watches Bilby would want to watch the Trotsky, but uh, whatever. So we've got Jurassic Park, so those are the featured movies. We have Browse, so we have Peacock Picks. You know, they're, I guess these are the things that Peacock recommends. 30 Rock is there, but remember, a few episodes aren't going to be there, so have those DVDs ready. Right underneath Peacock Picks, we have the watch list, which we have started with uh, Bilbo. Um, these are the exclusive to Premium, which I have. So, that's, uh, oh, they have a Curious George, and oh my gosh, a Where's Waldo? And Cleopatra, Tokyo Dreams, Vaughn. Okay, we've got some featured films like Phantom Thread and Tully, Do the Right Thing really good movies. Now, I own a lot of these, so there's no reason to... Oh, interesting that the Matrix trilogy is on here. You'd think that would be on HBO Max. Got some Laugh Out Loud, Epic Dramas, Reality Fix. So, you know, this feels very, very similar to, uh, to Netflix. Very similar to Netflix. There's a Kid's Corner. Do they have any um, old, oh my gosh, the original Sabrina the Teenage, which, that's a, the Beethoven, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that, and the Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat, oh man, that was a, that's bizarre, and so it's interesting, some of them have clips, but some of them do not, and that's, uh, it's interesting, oh my, oh, I haven't seen a while, Fievel's American Tales. <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually watch it. I'll probably watch like an episode and then remember that it really wasn't very good. We have Road to Tokyo section. I this must be for the Olympics for the channel. So okay, now let's see what trending looks like because I'm on the browse right now and browse works as you'd expect it to. If you go to trending, so you can kind of flip through. Anchors of Weekend Update and a head writer um, at Saturday Night Live. They also wrote a book called yeah, A Very Punchable sure, Face. Whatever. It's available now. So you can kind of flip through feet trending. It's interesting that they the trending makes it this big full screen 
thing that's kind of weird. I don't know how the trending is actually going to work because some of these are news stories, but whatever. So let's go to channels. Like that's an interesting feature. So okay, this is interesting. So apparently there's live TV of some sort on the app. That's that is a something that you don't see every day so I, I hate the fact that this plays in the background so well that's that's definitely very interesting because that's a feature that a lot of um apps don't have i mean hulu tv has if you pay for it but uh nbc universal is definitely um flexing their muscles with all the channels that they own so tv shows that's more or less what you expect movies it's interesting how long it takes to load things so interesting rotten tomatoes approved then we have comic relief i love how this is like serious cinema Ooh, actually i wanted to watch 21 grams for a while so yeah let's add that to the watch list billy elliot that's a good one um in the name of the Father, that's really good. Yeah, The Last Temptation of the Christ. Uh, I have the Criterion collection of that, but it's nice that it's there. So there's some, yeah, there's some good cho choices here that you can pick from. Some that I've not heard of, some that I have. And Feel Good Features. I like how Shrek's one of them. Oh, yes. A dedication to Hitch Hitchcock. Yep. Definitely be watching some of those. We have documentaries. Oh, Spellbound. Oh, that's a good movie. If you haven't seen Spellbound, they have the Big Bird documentary. Okay, I know I'm going to look like a nerd, but yeah, I am so going to watch that. That later. <laughs> and I know that voice. I've been wanting to see that for a while. For a while, too. So, let's add that there's a back there's a back to the future documentary which i'm eh, you know i'll add that just because my wife will want to see it a documentary on cassettes ne neat yeah there i don't know if you can tell i love documentaries like a good documentary is there's few things as great as a good documentary and when there's a great one so, Dynamic Duos, The Sting. Hey, a Best Picture winner. Does it actually... Here, here's something interesting about streaming. Is that when you have, like, a Best Picture winner, like The Sting or an Oscar winner, they don't actually tell you that it won all these Oscars. So, that's, uh... Like, the company's just trying to make the... Um... The Oscars irrelevant. Ooh, Broken Flowers. That was a good movie, and... The paper. Oh, the paper's on here. That's that's a good one. The paper is really good. Oh. All right, so the movie section is really good, and then we have movies A to Z. So I'm assuming. Well, I guess it works, but I do like HBO Max's. Um, and it stops. At the end. So I don't know what the point of that is. <laughs> Oh, did it freeze? No, it's still going up. Kind of curious what the kids section looks like. Oh, uh-oh, we've got Barney's Great Adventure, and we can probably watch it in widescreen. And so, anyway, no, I'm not. I'm not actually gonna have that in the watch list. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just. I'm not gonna do that. So, oh, interesting. They have three, two, one, penguin. So, Care Bears, this is interesting, and they give you random TV episodes of shows that they have. That's uh, the new Woody Woodpecker show. Yeah, you know, I noticed that Universal has like a lot, always has Woody Woodpecker on there, and I don't know anyone who actually watches Woody Woodpecker. So, um, 
Tube City asked if there an initial cost, and the answer is no. You can get a free version with a bunch of ads, but you can't watch everything. Uh, then you can get like a next tier version, which you can watch a lot more, but there's still ads, I believe. And then there's a premium where you pretty there's pretty much no ads. So here's now this is actually a wise thing for um for NBC Universal. And I'm thinking more companies might have to do this where they actually have, you know, headlines. Because this is how you compete with YouTube. This is how you compete with you YouTube. You have these news highlights and you know, for older people, you know, who don't necessarily understand YouTube, they do understand this. So, you know, they've got all of their talk shows and they've got the, um, the highlights. So this is actually a good thing for, uh, this could be a secret weapon now. Oh, let's go up one more now. Can you have, so yeah, I got, by the way, a discount. So like for for a hundred dollars for the year, um, which is less than ten dollars a month, I get all this extra stuff. So, you know, it's uh, now. How's the search? Does it have a? Oh, good. It has one of these. So, uh, let's see here. Hulk. Okay, I was wondering if they would have the Incredible Hulk because Universal made a couple Hulk movies. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, back to the Future. Okay, no Back to the Future there. Um, now I'm trying to look at my shelf to see if uh, Gorillas in the Mist. Mm, they don't have that movie. The Hurricane. Apollo 13. Oh, those all Universal movies and they're not popping up. Okay, let's see. There's got to be... I mean, we know they have a Jurassic Park movie. Is, um, Grinch. No, no Grinch movies. No Grinch movies. This is, uh... So it's not exactly complete, of course. I think NBC Universal is lending a lot of their stuff out to um, to Netflix and Hulu. So they probably have to wait till a lot of those deals expire. Come on, it's got to be it's got to be something here. Um, out of Africa. That was a best picture winner. Uh, nope, no Out of Africa it won best picture, but not on Peacock. So all right, I'll try one more. Uh, what can I... Uh, I know. Schindler's List. Uh, you're breaking my heart, Peacock. You're breaking my heart. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to be spending a little bit of time adding things to my new there does not appear to be separate profiles. I think it's just one. In fact, does that P in the corner do anything? Or is that... No, that's just a decoration. So I, I don't think you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, up in the corner, there's that P right there. And it doesn't appear to do anything. So, yeah, there's no separate profiles. Um, now let's... Let's... Try, try something. Um, let's pick a show that I know has an intro at the beginning, because I don't want to get copyright struck. Um, let's see here, kids, and let's see here. All right, I'm. Pr I know the Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat has an intro, so let's... Can you skip the intro? And the answer is no. Unless you just manually do it, so... They can't skip intros. 
Oh my gosh, The Adventures of Timmy the Tooth. Like, pff, haven't seen that since I was like, what, eight? Maybe seven? Well, in all fairness, this is, this is the kids section. Oh, the mummy cartoon. Uh, or is that just the... Nope, that was the first two episodes that was turned into a movie, but it's not the whole show, interestingly enough. So, okay, so anyway, what's my thoughts on all this? Well, it's another streaming platform. Um, and it's kind of funny because with all the streaming platforms you'd have, you would think that people would have had this figured out by now on what exactly they want out of this. You'd think they'd realize people don't want those um, clips to be playing in the background, that maybe they do want award information, maybe they want profiles, they want to skip intros, um, it's not bad, it really, it really isn't ba bad, I mean, it, there definitely seems to be content there that you can, that you can watch, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, huh, only the first season of This Is Us, that's probably because Hulu has a deal with them. Eight seasons of House, of which I think six of those were good. Um, Suits, uh, 21 Jump Street, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Yeah, I could definitely add a bunch of stuff. Days of Our Lives. That's the uh, sitcom. Like, how many episodes do they have of this thing? Season 55, okay. And, uh, well, so this is going to be interesting. Is all of Days of Our Lives, all 55 seasons, 99 episodes in this season alone, are they all going to be on Peacock? That's, uh, well, that, well, that's definitely interesting. Oh, look, Heroes. I'm actually, uh, me and my wife are watching this. We're almost done with it. Uh, my wife, interestingly, does not dislike... Ooh, Murder, She I haven't seen that in a TV... I'm Jessica. Really? I didn't... I didn't think Murder, She Wrote. Granted, I did watch it when I was a kid, so... Uh, maybe it really was fine. I I don't know. So, uh, Undercover... Oh, I I love Undercover Boss. I know not a lot of people do, but I I really like Undercover Boss. I think this is a fun show. I've seen the Hooters episode. I've seen the 7-Eleven. Um, the Build-A-Bear workshop. Uh, painting with a twist. Yeah. Celebrity. Oh, Terrius Rucker. Oh, that's funny. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I so far it's hard to tell whether or not I'd want this one to stick around in the long run. I know at some point some of these services will have to just die because there's only so much money in the world. Yeah, actually, this this looks pretty good, too. Um, but I just don't know if this is enough. Unsolved Mystery. Ooh, the classic Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, that's... You know, Netflix revived that show, so... Uh, American Greed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this could still be... So I like how it's, like, always on. Like, yeah. Yeah, really. There's a Pac-Man show. That's one of the fun things about streaming services, finding some of these, like, really kooky shows and movies. And Well, anyway, we, we've pretty much, um... We've pr we pretty much got through all of this, so, uh... So, so yeah, um... Those are my initial thoughts. Um, not, not terrible on first glance. Uh, we'll a year to get used to it and after a year I guess we'll see whether or not I want to keep it or not but uh yeah so like I said there is a free version you can't watch everything but you can watch some stuff with commercials and then there's like a higher version you can watch more stuff but with still commercials and then you have like the the premium premium tier where there's like virtually no commercials and you can watch everything at that point so that's what it looks like now uh, I am curious do any of you have Peacock are you going to sign up with it um Ethan says uh with a name like Peacock there is room for improvement. Yeah, I hate that name. Um, and uh, I also should mention, I'm using the Apple TV. Uh, Peacock is not available on Roku or uh, the Amazon Fire Stick yet. I do not know why. Um, I might talk about that on like, the podcast later today. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Just, uh, you know, oh my gosh. 
of all the movies, like a 1930 movie, like I didn't, of all the movies to have, <laughs> granted this is a good one, so uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, so anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for watching me, uh, well, checking this out with me live, and um, I will uh, be uploading this onto my vlogs channel as well, so uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in with me, and you know the drill, comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.